So we are doing a Chica Lita flight. This is what's on the drinks. We're gonna start with the Coco Lita. This one. What's on this one? That one is vodka, macadamia, coconut, pineapple, lemon with coconut salt. Yeah, what does coconut salt taste like? That's actually good. Um, that, that salt, I'm thinking the coconut is coming from the drink, not the salt. Yeah. Um, I think that's the nopalita, which is uh, blanco salt. tequila, pasilla chili, cucumber lime, and then Sabor de Jalisco spice rum. That's too salty. Is that tequila or mezcal? That's mezcal. Okay, so I was right the first time there. That is the chili lime salt. I was just, there's no chili, but maybe it tastes like it. And this last one, I guess. Well, is... no, well, it's like what you said the first time, but the coconut, <laughs> there are bits of coconut in there. Mm -hmm. So, we're right. And there's But this is the color, this is the color for passion fruit, this one. So yeah. this should be the mezcal one. That should be tequila. Uh, well, it probably is. You know, my, my, my salad is jacked. <laughs> and this one is... I think that's the one with tequila. Pasilla chili, cucumber, and lime. Okay. But then it wouldn't be that color. I'm confused. We'll figure it out. But we know that the first one is coconut. Mm -hmm. So here comes the ceviche. Thanks, man. Another, we we, we handle one flight and another one shows up. It's how we roll. Okay, so what's this? This. On the back of the menu. Oh, no, right there. The, the different ceviches? Okay. Uh, oh. Shrimp. Okay, shrimp aguachile. Shrimp aguachile. Okay, so that's the green one here, the shrimp aguachile. The and then guava campachi. And the tamarind ahi tuna. I'm guessing the one in the middle is the tamarind ahi tuna, and the last, other one was what? Guava, guava compachi. The shrimp, aguachile, of course, cucumber, serrano chili, cilantro, fresh lime juice. <laughs> the guava compachi sounds real good. Jicama, cucumber, guava marinade, scallion, and fresh coconut milk. Yeah, that, I think it's this one right here because that looks creamy. Yeah, and then the tamarind, ahi tuna is tamarind, tomato chutney, cherry tomatoes, chives, yeah, and the gala seed. So the verdict on the ceviche is, it's fantastic. The chips are seasoned and they don't need to be though because there's a lot of flavor going on here. Got, this is a traditional aguachile, shrimp, cucumber, jalapeno, the tomato, tamarind, chutney, tuna. Um, that was really good. It's this well, it's just kind of sweet, um, but uh, very mellow on the heat scale. And then this is the guava compachi. So compachi is a, a white fish with yellowtail. What? Yellowtail? Is that a white fish? That was too much. Chunks are white. Yeah. Cucumber, there's some pepper and microgreens in there. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's Hick coconutty. Um, I don't know what the hickamuna is, but yeah. First round was a flight. This is round number two. So please do tell us what's in the. Uh, All right. I got to out which one is which. This is the Isla de Tigre. The Isla, the Isla, the, the Isla de Tigre. I said I. The Isla de Tigre is a uh, Parana Reposado tequila, Smith and Cross pot still rum, a Gifford banana. Pineapple, lime, orgy, angostura, and pecho bitters. Okay, and then this one is what? That's a jardin or jardin de balada. And what's it now? Ruben distillery vodka, guava, prickly pear, lime, lilit, I'm sorry, lilit blanc, and blue rose. Okay, I'm gonna like that one. That's the one that I ordered for you. I figured you would like that.
Oh, it's a, a bamboo straw. Two bamboo straws. Well, I'm going to use both since they're back. Forgive the mess that we've made. It was, you know, that you, as you can see. On it. It, it, it's, it's giving me Trader Vix. It's, it's very tropical. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Um, or Bahamas. Okay. Just coconut, you know. You can taste the alcohol. Pineapple. And this is the har Hardine. The Hardine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that. Like it really just tastes like um, guava, some stronger alcohol, and like a sparkling wine. That's good. It's it's very guava forward. It's like that's very um, very very Miami -y. pineapple. Yes, it's <laughs> very East Coast Florida, Southern Florida, you know, Southern East Coast. Um, coconut, pineapple. They're both island island drinks. Yeah, yeah. These are the plantains, and those come with coconut and jerk aioli. Those are the fanciest plantains I've ever seen. <laughs> this is the, um, the sweet plantains, fried sweet plantains with coconut. Don't know what the coconut is, but it's got jerk aioli. Jerk aioli. And uh, some flowers and microgreens. Sold on the, uh, Presentation? The sweet oh, the plantain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that jerky only is. Um... It's the spices in there. I don't know. It's kind of like curry or like allspice. Something's warm, not spicy. Um, they could be cooked a little more for me. Um, Still a little hard. Not firm. Yeah, that might be the coconut firm on there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of very firm plantain. They're not very firm. But the they're softer, the better for me. <laughs> they're too soft. One of these days, I'm going to make a plantain shake. Yeah, I think that's like toasted coconut. Good, though, huh? Mm -hmm. Microgreens. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't taste as heavy and greasy as I used to. Maybe I need to separate myself. Uh, what is it? What is it? They're fried and then it has coconut and jerk aioli. I think that coconut is the coconut crumb that's also on the, uh, the street corner. Okay. I, I mentioned I'm not a fan. I don't mind it. But I prefer my plantains. I just put, like you mentioned. Right, more ripe? Yeah. Cook them softer. You know, a little more, not mushy, but just not as, um, uh, you know, not as, yeah, I, don't, I don't need to have that much bite. Yeah, they're usually more ripe and a little sweeter. Yeah, like right, you can exactly, style because this, yeah, yeah, this has that sourness in the middle too, so it's not as ripe. But, I'm not complaining about that. Not and, in this case. Yeah. It works. Yeah, it works. I, I really, I like that. That jerk aioli sets it off. Because it, it, it knocks down the sweetness, you know, of, 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 of a plant and that tartness that I was just speaking of. And that's good. That's good. Okay, here we have the uh, Caribbean street corn. That's all spice, thyme butter, jerk aioli, spiced coconut crumb. seasoned portion as opposed to the unseasoned portion. Why would you? <clears throat> if you've ever... <laughs> 
it's, it's a nostalgic flavor. It's like a flavor from the past. I guess you could say like the corn chips. What I used to do is I used to order, not order, I used to buy a bag of Doritos or corn chips or something like that. And I would put stuff in it at like, I would go to like a restaurant, it was a bowling alley, Park Bowl, San Francisco in the Hague. If you know, you know. I used to walk up and I used to have my own bag of potato chips already. And I used to just get their condiments, hot sauce, you know, <laughs> mayonnaise, cold trip. I wasn't high, I didn't smoke or nothing. I was just that type of thing. This reminds me of that flavor profile. It, 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 um, that sounds no. like a lot going on. Yeah, it, it is. It is. Um, it's <clears throat> more. It, 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 there's more going on than how it is. It's very good. Very good. <laughs> you would absolutely like that. This is like a, a chicken stick. That, that, that coconut. Oh, that's uh, on, on the top, yeah. That sweetness. There's lime. It doesn't say lime. Well, there's lime on this. And all spice. That all spice thyme butter. Hell, lime, lime might be one of those spices. It's such a mess. Hmm? It's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Told y'all when I said I would make a mess eating this. It's, it's, I could tell it's, it's all over. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's like, I feel like we're out in Miami. These flavors, the presentation. Um, and I saw, you know, some things on the menu that I was interested in. You didn't, you know, there, there was the, uh, the lobster corn dog, $37. You try that one day. Yeah, we'll come back for that. But yeah, we, we didn't do that today. She, she's not, she wasn't, you know, because of the flight, because we got the flight, we did our seafood. Man, I understand. I'm with it. There's just a reason to come back. But the whole menu. Yeah, the There's whole a reason to come menu back. is it's it's just it's 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 all over. We're still trying to figure out this Peruvian or whatever, what have you. I'll just put it up probably right here. We <laughs> found out what it was. Um this is some good stuff. And I'm glad, you know. You know, we just happened to walk by, and it's been in there ever since. And we were thinking, let's go eat, let's go. We're gonna go to Concord. <clears throat> Couldn't figure out where though, and it popped in my head. I knew exactly where I wanted to go. The opportunity was here. Showed up. They packed with flying colors. It's a braised pork belly, house-made jerk marinade, pickled peppers, and a soft fowl bun. I'm excited. <laughs> you sound like you're about to cry. Hey, I'm excited. Shit. <laughs> let, me just, let, me just, let me say this. I've been talking about this since we got here. This and the lobster, uh, the lobster, uh, Corn dog. I didn't think we was gonna get this far. Jerk okay. marinade, not jerk aioli. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Remember when you was a kid and you ate something and you started dancing in your seat? <laughs> and it was that good? <laughs> it is that good. My goodness. That's good. I like that. You like that. It's like a marshmallow. They're rolling. What is, what is the, the sauce on the bottom of that? That's the jerk, I'm assuming. Um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's the house made jerk Mary. I was finna say, but I was gonna say earlier that's that jerk, uh, that jerk aioli. I think it is so it doesn't slide on the plate. Yeah. <laughs> I told, told you. you. <laughs> told you. That's good. It's, it's spicy. Yeah, I was gonna say that spicy is still it's on my just, tongue. Yeah, this, that's the spiciest thing we're making. Um, this bread is super soft. Um, you need the pickled peppers because it's heat and it's it's unctuous with the the aioli and the, the fat on the pork belly. But it's it's not it's not just a little spicy. This is hot. Uh, temperature wise, it's fine. But. Oh, there's some soft. Oh, there's aioli inside. That's good. It's not like. Um, there's a creamy element, there's a citrusy element. Um, wow, this is really good. <laughs> Turn the camera off. I'm telling you, I've been eyeballing it since we looked at the menu. That pork belly is so tender, it's just, everything is falling apart, but. Um, I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> going pescatarian for a month. Um, oh my god. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. Had you not eaten it first and reacted that way, I would have been a little timid jumping into it. But and the fact that I was Goo goo gaga. Yeah, you almost cried. It's like my own. These, these Caribbean flavors, but there's so much going on, but it works. It's not a combination I would have put together. Oh my god. So they would have put three of, three of those on that plate. Who made, who made it has some furniture moving around this month. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, that was a good way to end it.